So for the last four weeks, our financial expert, Patty Lovett-Reed, has been offering advice on financial planning at various stages of our lives. In the final installment, she's looking at the years just before as well as during retirement. Hello, Patty. How are you doing? Hi, Mars. Great. How are you, Marcy? I'm well. So good to see you. So this has been a fantastic series. Oh, and thank it, you. And it comes to this, and you're going to zero in, Patty, on those few years right before retirement. What would, should we be thinking about? You know, every once in a while, you pick up a book and it sticks with you forever. And this is called Mastering Your Retirement. It's by Douglas Nelson. He talks about five phases in retirement. And of course, there may be five phases. They span over, let's say, a 30-year period. But right before retirement, these are seven to ten years out. He would suggest, and I have to agree with him, some people never get beyond this stage, by the way. They want to keep working literally till the end, and they do. But you start thinking about where your money's coming from in retirement. You know, you've often thought about the government has money set aside. You have CPP and old age security. But let me just give you a number. The average CPP payment is $619. In 2016, it could go as high as 1092 With old age security, the maximum per month, $570.52. And if you make over $72,000 a year, have that income coming in, it starts to get clawed back. So many people will say, I don't have to worry about saving for retirement. The government will be there for you. No, it won't. Not with these numbers. It may help supplement your retirement, but it's not going to fund your retirement. So seven to 10 years out, this is when you start to think about what is it I want to do? Where's my money coming from? How much have I actually already saved? Yeah, and so many good points there, Patty, because then there's that worry where people talk about possibly outliving their money. Well, you know, when you think about what are some of the risks to retirement, and that is the number one question. How will I know if I have enough money to see me through my retirement? And this is where you start to think about what's going on in the markets. How much money have I saved and I tucked away? What's my lifestyle really going to be like? And then, of course, you get to that stage where maybe you do decide to retire, and this is where everything works out really well. You've got the money coming in, you're living, you're doing what you want to do. Those really are the golden years of retirement. But you know, there can be wild cards in there that maybe say you're not going to see your, all your money through retirement. They could be taxes. It could be inflation. Um, you could have fees associated with your portfolio. All of these things start to really add up. They start to add up, and you've made such a good point throughout this series of people really taking an honest look at their finances and knowing what's happening. Also important at this stage, estate planning. People want to take care of that. Yeah, because unfortunately, there does come a point if you're in a relationship that one of you will pass away, and that doesn't mean that the other isn't going to have quite an extensive life still ahead of them. And so you do need to look at your estate planning. You do need to put a will in place. You do need to put in powers of attorney, someone to step in and make decisions for you from a medical perspective, even from a financial perspective. And no one likes to do it. I mean, I remember the first time I sat down and did a will and I thought, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this. And yet once you do it and you put it in place, it's done. You can set it aside. There are many people also pre-planning their funerals. And again, it sounds very morbid, but at the moment, it's probably one of the best gifts you could pass along to your family the ones that are going to have to make all the decisions, knowing that you made the decisions and they can feel comfortable in supporting those. Is there one point that you'd like to leave with people through this series, Patty, that maybe resonates through all of the things that you've talked about? You know, I think everything comes down to lifestyle and never ever throughout any phase of your life should you abdicate responsibility to someone else to look after your finances because here's why. No one cares more about you and your finances than you. But the savvy person knows when to get help. All right. Enough said. Thank you so much, you. Patty. It's been good stuff. Thanks. Talk to you next week. All right. For more advice, check out Patty's blog on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.